Hello again, everyone. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo here um, with the Bone Level case. I just thought it would be nice to give you a final segment of Dr. Joel's case that uh, on the cleanup of cement. And I'll try to talk to you as I do this uh, to explain our methodology. Uh, we just cemented. The timer just has gone off, so just to show you a little bit about what we do, we have two cotton rolls on this side holding the bridge and one over here, so we got a good even bite. Um, and go ahead and open now, Doc. Okay. Uh, we do use floss in between the interprox areas. We like to do that to prevent any of the cements from catching in between the bridge. The next thing we'll do is uh, go ahead and release the first one. And their sole purpose is to prevent uh, cement from getting caught in the interprox. All right, we'll run that in between several times, pass it through, send it through the contact zone. And notice there's minimal cement. We used uh, Bendex brushes as the cement was setting to clean away the excess. So we go through probably about four to five of those in each case. Now we're sending it around the ponic region. I'm going to feel a little bit underneath that tissue. That's that positive pressure that we have. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the lingual with the mirror. And you'll see immediately you're going to take a look at a couple of little pieces of string called Siltrex. And as I explained in other, other videos, that this actually acts as a preventative barrier. Now I'm going to use a scaler. We'll remove some of that excess cement. Scaler, please. I like to use a sickle scaler. This one happens to be a uh, oh, an S204S sickle scaler from Hugh Freedy. And can you come from the lingual, please? Since we are using a microscope, I'm going to change magnification as I get uh, closer and closer to the head of the abutments. Okay. Let's put a 2x2 two two gauze underneath me. Let's all right, so here's our margin, here's our margin. I'll put the gauze in there just to catch any excess. And we'll take a long explorer now. All right. It should be a relatively easy cleanup when you think about it. You've done everything right. You've tried in your case. In this case, I didn't even go to a bis trion. I went right to a finish from a metal framework trion. What I do at the metal framework trions, I like to check the abutments as well. Now, let, let's just show the audience now how that lingual margin looks. So I'm going to zoom in on that lingual. Okay, so this distance, this area underneath here, out for a second, please. This is the tissue that we want to protect. Here's the margin. You can't even feel that. So you got your bridge all the way down, and then there's the abutment. So this soft tissue prevents the cement from going down into that no-no zone and creating any peri-implantitis, okay? So, guys, take a good look at this. It's important. Uh, look at how this, when I pull this up, all that cement is coming up right with it. There's a little extra cement right here. So you're home free. You don't have any issues uh, trapping the cement down in there. I wanted to show you this video, this image, 
And you can see that uh, prevention technique works so well. All right, so I'm going to continue to remove that cord now. So I'm going to come around. I'm actually going to push it all the way through to the lateral, to the labial side. And we'll have the dental assistant. Jen's going to go ahead and pick that up for us and pull straight out. And while she's doing it, she's looking for the cement to see what comes up in and out of there. Many times we'll, we have to bring these contours out to the labial to match all the contours of the natural teeth. Sometimes they're modified ridge, ridge lap contours, and you've got to make sure you don't trap any of the cements down in there, especially under these modified ridge lap contours. This happens to be somewhat of a modified ridge lap on number 12. Obviously, the best would be, in terms of shape, straight up profile with some flare from on the gingiva like we see in the uh, in the mandible quite often, but in the facial aspect of maxillary restorations. All right, and there that one goes. You know what I want to do is just look at that. I want to take a good look at that um, that cord, and you can see what what's on it. Let's take a look. Good, good. See now, not only do you see cement, you'll see some soft tissue. Some of the uh, coagulum from soft tissue that had could have gotten up underneath the uh, the crown and could have caused the cement uh, not to set properly. So we had a barrier for that, and uh, there aren't any little pieces or or strings that are attached to this. You know, any fibers uh, that come apart because it's braided. So this is Siltrax number seven from Pascal. And it works absolutely perfect for this type of procedure. So both cords are out. We're going to go ahead and rinse thoroughly. I want to say, Joel, you bit down perfectly. Everything looks great. We booked this appointment. I mean, we must have used about two hours of not only doing the procedure, but also filming this segment for for you the audience but uh, if we had to do it just straightforward uh, we probably would have had him out of here within 60 minutes tops uh, and that's normally how all of our cases go we don't really have much adjusting to do and the key is to know what to do with the soft tissue that's the last bit of uh, checking with that suction tip and we're going to go straight parallel. Just lift that up, please. Okay. Right. And uh, I'm just checking in the interprox. So this is a high vacuum. Checking there. That looks good. And the lingual aspect. That's perfect. All that cement is clean. And we'll just put this down again. That's good. No problem with that. All right. Let's check the occlusion. And uh, that's the last bit. Uh, you can see now the highly polished tooth number 27 that we repaired and added to the labial surface to help with the, uh, with the group function on that side. We want to do force distribution on both teeth numbers 11 and 12 and leave number 13 a little bit out of occlusion. We know that we're going to have him close on our paper now, squeeze as hard as you can uh, with a firm squeezing because we want all the other natural teeth to engage, although he's got implants on both sides. Tap, tap, tap for us, squeeze again, okay. All right. With that being said, again, we appreciate you checking us out here on YouTube. Um, it's a, uh, a great place to gain information. Certainly, it'd be open to uh, any subscriptions or comments about this procedure, any future procedures you want to see. Just give us a holler. Take care. Have a great evening.